Hi, I'm Larry Wern. I'm the director at Clear Passage Physical Therapy. We have had a lot of success over the years treating chronic debilitating headaches, the kind of headaches that send patients to the hospital, to the emergency room once or more a month sometimes. Uh, the question arises, what can you possibly do with your hands that can help those headaches? Well, what we're doing really, it's, it's a mechanical process. It's, so we're not, we're not addressing symptoms by giving analgesias, by giving pain relievers. We're actually addressing the cause, and these are the causes that we see. In our bodies, as we go through life, we get bumps and bruises and traumas that happen to us. With each healing event, tiny strands of collagen, like the strands of a nylon rope, come rushing in and lay down in the area that's been injured in order to help that area heal. Once we've healed, those adhesions often just remain in place. With chronic headaches, we see a few different patterns occurring. Often we see headaches that are centered, are unlocked at the cranial base. That is right where the neck meets the base of the skull here. There should be some space in there. There should be about a finger's width of space in there. And if you have a debilitating headache, if you'll get your fingers in there, get somebody to get their fingers in there, and just traction some, that will often help relieve it. What about these ones that occur though? If you only treat there and you don't treat anywhere else and you ignore the rest of the body, many times you're really missing the problem. In the case of headaches, we were shocked to find that because of the connections of the dura, the dura is a very strong sheath that surrounds the spinal cord. It starts at your tailbone, comes up, attaches to your sacrum, and then like bark surrounds a tree, comes up inside of your vertebrae to the base of your skull, just this place I was talking about, and then into your head. That's a very strong sheath um, designed to, to cover your spinal cord and to protect it. When you get a, a blow at your tailbone, if you've been roller skating and fell onto your bottom, or horseback riding, or bicyclist, or just been sitting in an office for years at a time, or you may not even remember, but when this happened, as it could have happened as a child, when that tailbone gets pulled forward, it can pull on the base of your skull and actually pull down the base of your skull onto the top of your neck and cause that pain. If we don't get in there and bring that tailbone back and also treat really the entire body between the tailbone and the base of the skull, it's not going to happen. We may get temporary relief from treating up here, but we often need to get down to that tailbone. It generally involves some internal treatment. We do that with your permission and only, only with your permission permission. We act within your tolerance level and your modesty and it's respected. But we need to bring that, that tailbone back um, often. The other thing that happens is you may have a trauma that happens somewhere else between your pelvis and your the base of your skull. It may be a surgery that occurred that inside it's like a straitjacket pulling you down, pulling structures pulling all the way up to your head and squeezing or pulling down the delicate bones of the cranium, causing pain. When you go to the doctor and say, what's wrong? And he examines you or she examines you, those things don't show up. Adhesions do not show up on x-rays, CTs, MRIs. It's very rare for adhesions to show up because they're made of collagen, which is in, covers virtually every cell in the human body. So your doctor says, oh, there's nothing wrong, or I need to send you to another specialist, or have a glass of wine, just relax. And meanwhile, you've got 2,000 pounds a square inch, it's been estimated, pulling on the base of your skull or pulling on the delicate cranial structures, sometimes pulling them out of alignment. Um, 
if we don't address all of that and free all of that up, then start working up into your neck and then into your cranium to get everything loosened up. It, it, it's kind of like going back in time as we treat those areas. And as we do, we see generally profound relief and profound um, return to life and to quality of life in patients that have come to us that are going to the ER one, two, three times a month with uh, to get to get injections for of pain relievers for headaches. So you can probably find out a little bit more at our website. Give us a call if you'd like. Uh, we're glad to talk to you. We're not going to try to sell you anything. If we think we can help, we're going to say so. If we don't think we're going to help, we're going to say so. Um, but that's that's the way we find that manual therapy can really help these severe headaches. Thank you.